All right guys, so now we're gonna be doing driveline alignment on the E36 N54 swap. It is far from plug and play, swap this mount with that mount or that bracket with that bracket. It is going to be completely custom. And here's why. Because this is an N54 twin turbo. So the twin turbos are on the passenger side of the car. And as a result, the engine mount is a lot lower. I'll show you on the E92 that they're actually offset and the, the passenger side motor mount bracket is a lot lower than the driver. So um, the subframe on the E92 already takes that into account, but the E36 assumes that it's square. So because of that, I have the passenger side that's way lower, this is the passenger side, I guess, this is way lower. We're talking about driveline alignment though. And that's the most important part of any swap. In order to make sure you have driveline alignment, forward and backward, up, down, and also your rotational axes, you have to start at the Guibo, or the uh, flex disc between the output of the transmission and the input of the drive shaft. Here you can see we have drastic misalignment between the transmission and the drive shaft. It's way too low and too far to the passenger side, so we'll need to correct that. Those need to be perfectly square as you are, as you are rotating the drive shaft. I've said this many times in a couple of my write-ups on my, on my website, but it's, I have to stress it for any swap that you end up doing. It is so important because if there is any type of skew or misalignment with the drive line, you're going to have Weibo flex, compression and tension at every single rotation. It's going to result in vibration and early failure. And by early failure, I mean very early. So it's going to be uncomfortable, it's going to be a lot of maintenance, and it's just not ideal. So you want to have that drive line to be completely the same distance around um, every rotation of the drive shaft. So how do you do this? Well, first you want to make sure that the engine is as far back as possible and it, and it butts up against the drive, the drive shaft. And that the spline of the drive shaft, the spline between the first half and the second half of the drive shaft have enough engagement to not only still allow it to move forward and backward, but also that it's transferring the torque. If you have just a little bit of engagement on those splines, you're gonna end up stripping them. So it's really important that you have that engine far back as possible, not just for CG, but also for stock driveline alignment. So in our example, as you can see, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna move that transmission up, try getting that aligned. If you wanna go, go with a custom drive shaft, then by all means, you can do whatever you want there. But when you're dealing with a stock E30 M3 drive shaft on this, uh, on this swap, you're going to end up really making sure that your driveline alignment and your spline contact is maintained. So I've actually identified that. I've got the engine in, a, in the exact position that I want. I had to move the transmission up and down to make sure that the Guibo alignment was, uh, was spaced out properly uh, at every rotation and also the rotation from side to side. So after shifting the transmission back up, you can see now there's still side-to-side -side skew. And as you slow it down, you'll see right there that that's open on the passenger side. And right over there, you'll see that it's closed on the driver's side, leading to believe that you need to move that transmission closer to the driver's side to open it up. So I got it, and um, I think I'm in a good spot where I can start making my mounts. And finally, we move that transmission over just a tiny bit to the driver's side and test again. So now, the drive line is aligned perfectly. Right there, you see we spin it around slowly to see the distances and you'll see right there, very, very similar distance. And finally, it goes up and around to the other side of the vehicle and it's right there. So, we have, and this is all to be measured with a micrometer um, to make sure that all the distances are exactly the same, but once it's set, start fabricating your transmission and engine mounts and install. Hey guys, thanks for watching, and if you like the content, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tell your friends, and you'll get notifications of all new videos coming for this swap.